All right, Vinyl Community, VC, what's going on? Uh, another Vinyl Finds video. Uh, it might be a long one. It's quite a pretty big stack here that I got cleaned up on the uh, old ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, yeah, these are ones that I've listened to and, uh, you know, get ready to put away and, uh, yeah, make another video here. Um, kind of mix of everything, just like usual on my channel. You know, I don't, uh, you know, a lot of jazz, but, uh, you know, I listen to everything. So, um, but uh, right now in the background, we got uh, one of those two record sets, Herbie Nichols, The Third World, um, on the Blue Note reissue series label. Uh, this is uh, just the, you know, sometimes you can find like there's a Thelonious Monk one, a Sonny Rollins, it had some unreleased stuff. Um, I think this was sealed when I got it. Um, but uh, this is all the recordings that Herbie Nichols did on Blue Note, so I didn't have any of his Blue Note stuff, so. Uh, you know, Max Roach he plays with, our Blakey, um, but uh, yeah, these two record sets are great deals, uh, if you can find them. Um, some of this is from like 10 inch uh, releases early on in the Blue Note catalog, so kind of cool. If you ever see these two note, or two record sets, they're not expensive and uh, you can pick them up and uh, great music as you can hear in the background, so. All right, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take one from Bob Bradley here. Coming in hot, Funkadelic Maggot Brain. I showed this in my vinyl tag, but uh, a little writing on the label here. I've been waiting. You know, the reissues of this record suck, and whoever you know, somebody needs to you know do an audio file press of this. I mean, somebody has to do it. I don't think there has been one done that. Uh, yeah, Men With Beards one sucks from what I've heard. I didn't even want to buy it. So I've been holding out for an OG of this for a long time. Um, finally got it. I mean, tremendous album. You know, it's kind of a VC staple. You know, I don't need to go into too much detail on it. But I was really happy to get that one for a decent price. They're all going up in value. You know, they can get a little crazy in price. So this one I uh, got from Record Jungle um, out in L.A. I mean, this cover... You could eat off this cover. It's so freaking clean. The World Pacific, Chet Baker and Art, pa Art Pepper, Playboys. Uh, this is from like 1957. Um, you know, famous cover, obviously. Uh, Hugh Hefner wasn't happy with this. Uh, kind of threatened to sue him, so they ended up, you know, changing the cover about a year and a half after this came out. So. Uh, I think this and one other one are the only ones that have this cover, so, uh, yeah, very awesome record, uh, happy to have that in the collection. As most of you know, I'm a huge Chet Baker fan, so, awesome. Showed that in my vinyl tag, but it's kind of a new, obviously West Coast Jazz, um, you know, a little bit different than uh, what you're listening to now, the Blue Note. Um, I, I enjoy it, uh, I know some people don't, but... All right, next, uh, the new one from uh, Paul McCartney, McCartney 3. This is the indie exclusive, the white one. Uh, man, I would have liked to get that one Mazzy got, the third man. Uh, that's, that thing shot up in value. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so third McCartney album. Um, it's pretty enjoyable, actually. Um, I was a little shocked that I liked it as much as I was, you know, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. Um, needs a couple more listens, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I'm probably about like about half the tracks on here. Uh, the other ones probably just need to give it some time, uh, some more listening. But uh, yeah, very solid effort from McCartney. So Next, uh, finally picked up. Um, it went out of print for a while, and then uh, they finally got it back in stock. So I got it. Man, I probably got this a couple months ago, but that's how backed up I am with showing stuff. Uh, Fiona Apple, title. Uh, this is a Vinyl Me Please pressing, uh, 45 RPM. Sounds just freaking incredible. Uh, you know, 12-page book. You know, tremendous album. Obviously, uh, Criminal, uh, you know, would be the hit off of here. But, you know, the, the whole album, um, probably my favorite from hers just because... You know, that's kind of what got me listening to her in the first place, was this album. So, uh, yeah, great stuff, and uh, finally happy to pick that one up. 
kind of expensive too. All right, the next three, I already had two of these, but I got the uh, 45 RPM reissues of Nickel Creek. But uh, kind of came in all different colors. Uh, it did come with this pretty cool signed card here that I'm gonna frame up and uh, hang up on the wall. So uh, kind of weird that Chris Thiel didn't sign uh, it didn't sign in gold pen, but whatever. COVID maybe? I don't know. So they were in different spots. All right, so yeah. So like I said, I had originals of a couple of those, but uh, uh, Love Nickel Creek, so 45 RPM. They sound incredible. They sound better than the originals. Next one, um, you hear Dave Local Band Autopy talk about this guy, Matt, out in LA all the time. Uh, you know, sells some pretty cool African records and stuff. Picked up these two. Uh, My Dear Mother from Al Haji Chief Waisu Ayende Barister. The Royal Talazo Fuji Londoners. Uh, High Life Records, uh, just great African music from the PAI label and the Oma Aje. Uh, kind of show these in my vinyl tag as well, but very cool stuff. Not as, uh, you know, proficient, I guess you could say, in the uh, African records like Steve Carlson, but uh, I do enjoy it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, next, we got uh, Horace Parlin, Happy Frame of Mind. It's a promo, but it's not really a white label or anything. So this is a DMM pressing, but uh, interesting fact about this is uh, it's actually the first pressing of this album, the first release. Uh, this wasn't, this was you know one of those ones that was shelved for a long time, but it wasn't released in the LT series. It wasn't, you know, it was released later. Uh, so this is actually from 1963. So Johnny Coles, Booker Irvin, Grant Green, Butch Warren, and Billy Higgins. I mean, crazy good lineup. It's a really good album. Very cool, nice to finally have. Horse Parlin is very hard to find. Um, so that's an affordable first pressing Horse Parlin that you can pick up. Um, but uh, So I kind of mentioned before, I've been trying to go back, um, get a lot of albums from the 90s and stuff that you know really meant a lot to me, uh, or I listened to a ton when, you know, growing up. Uh, this was one of them. This is 311, her first album. Uh, pretty cool promo copy original um this album i mean I, I probably wore this cd out when it came out um so many good songs down obviously starts it off all mixed up um misdirected hostility i mean terrific album love these guys i think they're from uh what omaha omaha nebraska so very cool to pick that one up uh, Record Jungle out in LA, another one from them. Uh, this is the Three Sounds, criminally underrated. First pressing there for 47 West 63rd. Uh, let's see, Bottoms Up is the name of this one, and just, I mean, it's it's, it's very consistent, consistent. The Three Sounds. I think you're always going to get just a nice, solid hard bop, you know, hard bop record. Um, yeah. Can't complain. Stereo pressing. Uh, I think I got this from an Instagram seller. I can't remember his name. Uh, but uh, Thelonious Monk, alone in San Francisco. It's a original mono pressing, Riverside label. Just like it says, Thelonious Monk, alone in San Francisco. Uh, just him uh, on the piano. I love piano jazz personally. I know some people don't, but. Uh, you know, I enjoy Bill Evans when he plays by himself. I enjoy, uh, you know, Keith Jarrett, you know, his, uh, you know, the Cone concert, um, you know, anything like that. I just enjoy piano in general. Um, so this is, you know, a very nice, nice record. Uh, just him just playing. So Blue Monk, Ruby My Dear. Next one also from that same Instagram seller. Um, pretty much the same thing, you know, just, uh, but uh, this time it's uh, Charles Mingus plays piano. Uh, let's see, 
students plays piano, but it's uh, spontaneous compositions and improvisations. Nice original mono press in there on the Impulse label. Can't beat that label. Um, terrific stuff. Terrific. Next one from Glass House out in LA. Um, trying to pick up some more Sun Ra as I see it come up. It's the heliocentric worlds of Sun Ra. This is one of my favorite ones that I that I bought so far. I can't remember if I showed this one already or not. I don't think I did, but this one's on ESP, which you know anything on ESP is usually pretty good. Uh, you know this is obviously free jazz, uh, but uh, you know it's not one of the Sun Ra's like you know craziest out there albums. Uh, still kind of somewhat accessible if you want to give it a shot. You know I know a lot of people don't like it, but. I'm really starting to appreciate it a lot more as I dive deeper into jazz. So, uh, yeah, this was enjoyable. Uh, I got this a while back when it came out, but uh, I never showed it. I didn't even listen to it for a while. So, this is uh, Prince Sign of the Times. I didn't have a copy of that, so I picked up the what the Peach copy, I guess. Sounds terrific. I mean, they reissued a you know a lot of his catalog. I didn't buy the, the whole huge box set, uh, but uh, yeah, this is a great album from Prince. Uh, you know, kind of funky, uh, what you expect from Prince, so good stuff. Uh, this was a reissue, it's almost like a tone poet, I guess you could say. But this is uh, Grant Green, Sunday Morning. This is like colored pressing there. I think this is from Slow Down Sounds. But yeah, it's like a, uh, almost like a tone poet. It's cut by Kevin Gray. Sounds terrific. Uh, just a trio here. Kenny Drew, Ben Tucker, or quartet, I guess you'd say. Kenny Drew, Ben Tucker, and uh, Ben Dixon. So, uh, terrific record. If you can, I think they still have the, the black uh, pressings of these. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it sounds just like a tone poet. Um, great stuff. Next one, uh, Zia Records uh, produced or put this out. Um, I got it about a month ago, maybe. Uh, I got their first out, first album on uh, Record Store Day. Uh, they just issued it for the first time, and this is another one of their albums, Chinese, the Chinese album by Space Hog. Pretty cool uh, color there, colored vinyl. Uh, yeah, so this is the first you know pressing they've ever done of the album. Love Space Hog. I really think uh, you know a lot of people talk about it, but it's a band that you know it's kind of weird that they didn't get bigger. Um, but uh, yeah, just you know alternative. Um, man, I don't know. I'm trying to I'm so bad at like you know putting bands into categories and stuff. And uh, but you know pretty similar to their to their uh, you know first album. Um, I don't think they had any like crazy big hits off of here, but uh, still enjoyable. All right, next, uh, also from uh, Record Jungle out in LA, Miles Davis in concert, My Funny Valentine. Nice uh, two-eye pressing. Uh, not a terribly expensive one. Um, you got uh, Miles Davis, George Coleman, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Tony Williams. Sounds freaking awesome, man. This is such a good recording. Uh, you know, from start to finish, this is just a very enjoyable record. I think uh, this group just, you know, play very well together. Uh, George Coleman didn't play with Miles, I don't think, very long. Um, I don't know if this was like a transitional period. Uh, not 100% certain on that. But uh, obviously, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, and Tony Williams, you know, you know, made up the, the second, you know, portion of his... Uh, Columbia residency, I guess you could say, but uh, yeah, great record, uh, one I didn't have and uh, was happy to pick that one up. Another one, I had a, um, you know, some Blue Note stuff was released on the Applause label uh, in the 80s, so I had a pressing of this, but uh, this popped up and I couldn't pass it up, it's from Glass House out in LA. Stanley Turn Team with the three sounds, the original. Mono pressing there, 47 West 63rd. Uh, such a great record. Uh, two, I mean, Stanley Turrentine, I'm not going to say he's underrated, but he's undervalued, I guess, maybe. 
he doesn't get some of the praise as other Blue Note artists. He, he put out a lot of content though. Um, and the three sounds, obviously, I just mentioned them, but this is a great like late night record. Um, you know, a glass of whiskey in hand. Whiskey helps. Uh, glass of whiskey in hand and just, uh, you know, just trying to mellow out. I mean, it's just one of those, those great records uh, for that. So, great music. Uh, switching gears a little bit. This was one, you know, from the 90s that, uh, you know, grown up I listened to quite a bit. Um, not as much as their, you know, other two albums that came out in the 90s, but this is Outkast. Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music. Freaking awesome record, man. This thing, it just has you going like this, you know, I mean, the whole time. Uh, it's an original on LaFace Records. I've been waiting for a nice pressing of this for a long time for a, you know, a good price, not a crazy price that they're getting. But uh, yeah, this is a great record. Like I said, Outkast from Atlanta. Uh, you know, got that just, you know, those beats and I just love Andre and Big Boy. I just I think they're they're great great musicians. So was happy to get that one. Uh, one, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I did not have this record in my collection. I've been holding off for a long time to get an original of this, um, and I finally did. Just a really nice copy, uh, just very slight ring wear, but I did not have this record until. You know a month ago so miles davis bitches brew original 2i uh what else need? i'm not even gonna say anything else but i have one now everyone can rest easy i know i can uh yeah switching gears again uh like i said i listen to everything on this channel i'm sorry you know i know some people list you know come to my channel for the jazz some people don't, so, I mean, it kind of, I think someone told me a long time ago I'd get more people if I stopped showing uh, so much, like, very, you know, variety, but this is what I listen to, so. Uh, but uh, Sturgill Simpson, Cutting Grass. This is the, you know, the yellow and green pressing. Uh, yeah, so Sturgill Simpson, Cutting Grass, the Butcher Sessions, I think they're called. Butcher Shop Sessions, Volume 1. I pre-ordered Volume 2, which is coming out like in April or something. But uh, man, what a great record. Uh, you know, country, folk, not folk. It's, it's mostly country. But uh, love Sturgill Simpson. You know, he's such a great artist. So was happy to pick that up. Uh, this was one. I've been commuting to Houston for a while for work. And... Uh, been trying to hit up some record stores down there. If any of you know any good record stores in Houston, I haven't really found too many. Um, I went to a couple that you know were the highest visited, you know, in the city. And I mean, I went to one, and the prices were like I, I couldn't even believe it. Like people actually, how's that place still open? I have no idea. But I went to this other place out in Spring, Texas. Uh, this nice little record shop. Can't remember the name, name of it now, but. Nice little shop, and they had this. I did not have a copy of this, and uh, this is a re like a you know a couple years uh, reissue after it came out. But this is a uh, Captain Beefheart and his Magic Man, Safe as Milk. This is like I said, uh, you know the Buddha label, the second one that came out. It says promo copy, but it's not a white label. So I don't know if someone switched the jackets or if someone just slapped a promo label on this. But uh, yeah, terrific record. I love early Beefheart. You know, after it gets into, you know, the... I can't get in the Trout Mask uh, yet. I don't know if I will, but... Uh, yeah, this album is just freaking awesome. Uh, I can't even believe I didn't have this, so... Nice. Nice to have that. And, yeah, not, more Blue Note. I mean, man, this is like a Blue Note video, I guess. This is uh, one that you don't see all the time, and one that was not recorded by Rudy Van Gelder. This is uh, Kenny Clark, Frankie Bowman and Company, The Golden Eight. It's an original uh, model pressing there. This is a very different Blue Note. Um, this was actually recorded in Europe. Uh, I think this was recorded in was it Sweden. Uh, I can't remember. 
but it's from 1961. Oh, Cologne, Germany is where it was recorded. Uh, the mastering was done by Rudy Van Geller, but the recording was done by Wolfgang Harshman. So you got just a slew of artists. Um, the ones that people might know are, uh, you know, Kenny Clark on drums, Jimmy Wood on bass, uh, Frankie Bolin on piano, who did a lot of the compositions on here, uh, which are <coughs> just killer, killer stuff. But it's a very different Blue Note record. Um, it's somewhat hard bop. But, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it, you know, it's, I don't want to say big bandy at times, but, you know, give this a listen, stream it, see if you like it, because, uh, like I said, it's, it's kind of different, so. Alright, next, uh, this is from Glass House, I got this a long time ago, uh, this is a Charles Tyler Ensemble, you can see the price sticker there, Folk and Mystery Stories. So kind of, my wife hates this cover. <laughs> she's like, can you, I had it, you know, up there on the wall for a while. She's like, can you take that down? It's starting to bug me. But this is a uh, sonnet, original. I think this was recorded in France, if I'm not mistaken, or released in France anyway. Uh, Charles Tyler, Richard Dunbar, David Baker, uh, Wilbur Morris. So just uh, some nice free jazz. Another one that I didn't have, uh, kind of a funk soul, I don't want to say masterpiece, but it's, it's a fucking, or, I don't want to cuss, I'm sorry. Terrific record. Samand, Samandi, original on, uh, what is that, Janus Records. Like I said, great funk soul, a lot of people know this in the VC. Actually, kind of sits like that in the shelf, but this opens up, you know, a nice, uh, nice gatefold. Good stuff. Uh, picked up this tone poet, uh, Roots and Herbs. I think this was originally in like a Liberty pressing, um, but it's uh, Art Blakey, Lee Morgan, Wayne Shorter, Bobby Timmons, Walter Davis Jr., and Jimmy Merritt. Art Blakey played with some of the, just the craziest lineups. I mean. That is just freaking awesome. And the music does not disappoint. Tone Poets, everybody knows them, everybody loves them. Picked up the new ones that just came out too. So this album I've been waiting for, a, you know, they're starting to slowly trickle in uh, represses of some of their albums. This is Deftones White Pony. Uh, this is a repress, but even the represses for the Deftones records are just like, like they disappear, like I don't know where they go, but this is terrific. I uh, love Deftones, I uh, showed their new album, um, you know, my last video I think, or a couple videos ago. Uh, so I'm trying to get, you know, trying to get their catalog. Um, I got their uh, self-title, I still need like adrenaline around the fur and stuff, but yeah, it was a nice pickup. Hard Rock, for those of you who don't know. Uh, so show Nickel Creek. This is uh, the new one from Watkins Family Hour. Watkins Siblings from Nickel Creek. It's a good album. Um, not as good as their first album with uh, Fiona Apple. That album is really good. Um, but uh, still consistent, you know. Still got the, uh, you know, folky singer-songwriter type album. Um, Sarah Watkins, you know, I'm just a huge fan of her voice. Uh, but uh, yeah, good stuff. All right, next, uh, Ramones, self titled Blitzkrieg Bop, Judy is a Punk. You know, now, now I want to sniff some glue. I don't want to go down to the basement. Terrific record. Been waiting for one of these for a while on Sire. What else needs to be said? Ramones, freaking killer record. I've been wanting it for quite some time. A couple more here. Um, yeah, so this was an album that came out for Record Store Day, but I didn't show it because I had to buy it uh, online. My stores were all out of it. Um, so I got this from uh, Plaid Room after the fact. This is uh, Welcome Interstate Managers, Fountains of Wayne on the uh, like 
kind of smoke colored vinyl. Uh, Stacy's Mom, obviously the hit off of here. Uh, but the whole album is very enjoyable. Uh, I enjoyed it when it came out. This is from like 2003 when it came out. I remember when it came out. It was just such a huge hit. They have a lot of other albums that are really good too uh, besides this. So yeah, nice to see this finally issued on vinyl. And uh, I was happy to pick that up, you know, after the fact. So uh, this was part of the No Effect, or not No Effect, Fat Records. Um, 25th anniversary pressings that kind of came out. Uh, this is an album that, you know, in high school I just played the crap out of it. Uh, Lagwagon Haas, one of their best in my opinion. Uh, pretty cool pressings. You know, they all got this 25 year, you know, kind of label. I think they did four. Um, I got all four. But uh, Lagwagon, just, uh, you know, terrific punk album. Um, you know, a lot of. Man, it's such a debate, too. I mean, because a lot of people, punk is completely different, you know. Pe some people consider this rock. I consider it punk. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's more melodic punk, I guess you could say, it, at times. Um, but terrific band, Lagwagon. If you haven't heard them, check them out. <clears throat> and last but not least... Did I show this already? can't remember if I did, so I'm going to show it. But this is uh, Stone Temple Pilots Core. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to find an original of this for a decent price. But as you can see, a Walmart limited edition record. Pretty cool looking vinyl. Uh, the sound is good. Um, you have to turn up the volume a little bit. It's one of those records where the, you know, it sounds awesome, but you just have to turn it up a little louder. Uh, you know, Walmart has just been going crazy with vinyl. I think they saw Target you know, jumping on it and stuff like that, and they're trying to get in on it. So there's actually been a lot of, I mean, good releases actually coming out on Walmart. You know, I hate buying them, but uh, this is a really nice pressing, so I can't complain. Terrific record. Uh, you know, obviously Creeps on here. Um, you know, Plush, Cracker Man. Love Stone Temple Pilots, just a band from the 90s that uh, listened to a bunch, so. Yeah, so that's it. Recent Vinyl Finds over. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. You know, I want to apologize to everyone because I watch a ton of videos, but they're always on my phone and I, I don't comment as much as I should. It's something I'm trying to correct. Uh, this year, I, I feel really bad um, about it, but I do watch all your videos. Um, so very sorry that I don't comment on all of them but like I said it's something I'm working on it's a problem um, hope everyone's doing well um, yeah that's it take care